Eric Holland with Sound Advice. Holiday season always has a slew of music books hitting the shelves. Perhaps at the head of the class this year, an autobiography from the former Smiths frontman, Morrissey. The Pope of Mope dishes the dirt about his old bandmates, rough trade labels execs, and tells a few really funny stories, including confessing his first love was Jerry Nolan on the cover of the New York Dolls debut album. Because you're mine. I walk the line. Ten years after the death of Johnny Cash comes this monster of a bio from L.A. Times music critic Robert Hilburn. At 679 pages, the life might take as long to read as it took to live. An eternal question for our times, Beatles or Stones? This book gets to the heart of the matter by John McMillan, Beatles vs. Stones, a very well-considered analysis. And maybe the best book for a musician on your list is this one put out by the Red Bull Music Academy. It's called For the Record, really in-depth conversations with heavy people like Erica Badu and Sly and Robbie and Niall Rogers and Bernard Purdy. They talk about the craft and it's very well illustrated with, with pictures. A couple of books for the guitar fetishists. Uh, one is called Guitar Aficionado, The Collections. These are the most famous, rare, and valuable guitars in the world, and it is absolutely luxurious. More Gibson Strats and Flying Vs here in 108 Rockstar Guitars. This book is organized by Who Plays What, from Jeff Beck to Robbie Robertson to Ace Freely. Happy Holidays. For New York One, I'm Eric Holland of WFUV.